Yo, back with another My Team video, and today, 2K21, they finally gave us some info about 2K, like, good god, about dang time, it only, it only been two weeks, or like one week and a half before the game come out, in like ten days, like three days before the demo, like, that's crazy, it took this long for some, some detail, but yeah, you know, I'm gonna give the biggest takeaway, like, what stuff they're doing, what are they gonna do with all this? And first, because some of y'all already know, so I'm gonna go through other things that I still have questions about or we can get some more info on. Okay, first off, we're gonna start with, uh, start with badges. Like, literally, the biggest thing with badges is they said, for example, if you have an eligible, like, my thing with badges is, like, I'm actually still wondering, is silver, is gold, and bronze? I'm guessing they're gonna be in packs still. Cause they really didn't really give much info. Cause I'm really confused with the fact like archetypes. They just said, oh yeah, we're gonna limit what badges you can go on a player based on their archetype play style. It doesn't make much sense to apply brick wall to badge to Corey. Yeah, but my biggest question is what if you might Giannis, right? He gets a playoff moment card that has like an 85 free pointer, right? So will he be able to get range extender then? They didn't really give much detail. Like, is a player on the card going to say, like, they're a slasher? Like, what do you qualify as a slasher, really? A slasher, really, is it really, like, a player that can drive? Like, like say they have 90 drive and dunk, but then they have a 9, 85 three-pointer. And then your boost, you give them, like, a three-pointer boost, it makes it 91. Would that count for range extender? Would they even get, like, a... I guess the thing I'm very, very confused on... Okay, like, I'm hoping they can give us a more detail. I guess we gotta wait when the game come out. And with all the fame badges, too, I wonder will they be in packs as well? They said, or I think, earlier in the blog that they'll be for, like, seasons mainly, but I'm really wondering with that, because I don't know how they're gonna really do the archetype system. That That's confusing to me. Like, it's like, what if LeBron got a moment card got 88 three-pointer and not 90 driving dunk? His three will be... That's odd. I don't know. I don't know how the heck they're gonna work that out, but we're gonna have to figure... We're gonna figure that out. And next up, we got this one. Domination, okay? Shake and bake. Leaked it out for us. We get George Mike and Riondo Blackmon and Nick Van Exel. Okay, first off, for the starting this, right? Why the heck are we getting Nick Van X? Hey, like, like, what are these rewards? Okay, so we got. I know there's an exchange set that we'll talk about a little bit later with, uh, with that Bob, with Bob, Uzi, like. Like, 2K. They think Van Exel might be good for the beginning of the year. But, like, uh, Mike and, like, dude, I don't think no one has used Mike and, like, like, dang, if this is gonna be the rewards, is this really worth it? Like, hopefully, like, the MT, but, dang, 2K is 16 or is it 17? Someone can let me know in the comments when Steve Francis, you was able to get him in our test. Like, that was the best year of domination. These domination awards, high key suck, and also there was a... Also, the starter pack, Carmelo Anthony, like, right now, I'm leaning towards Carmelo Anthony based off the blog on, not the blog, but based off all of that, I'd rather have Carmelo Anthony over Shaq, okay, like, Shaq, I'm taking him easily any day, like, that Carmelo Anthony is actually, I love him a lot, in 2K20, and then next up, so Domination is a pure, looking like a joke, and really, also, and also, I noticing too, with this, like, I'm noticing a lot of things. I'm noticing that we're getting a lot of point guards. Like, we got Corey that we get into. Okay, we get to, okay, we'll get to see. Let's talk about season since I'm about to mention Corey. But, like, next up, we got... Where is this? Oh, my God. Where where the heck did I do this? Okay, season's right here. Okay, during this season, you better get weak. Bro, I just scroll. And next up, critical anime. Critical information to know about. We know about a level 40, you get a Stephanie Corey, okay? You know my feeling, my pleasure with Stephanie Corey, okay? You know how much I love this car, and my question would be, like, but in front of the first thing I read it, like, it said it's going to take a lot, like, this was a confusing thing. It said during the season objective, it's going to take a lot of playing that, to get there, but we always want to make the world worth it. But then up here, it says... When the higher when the higher idea is out of the way, let's dive for deeper dive, which really is why during season is not a fixed period. Then they say it's six weeks, and then they say it won't make it a little too long. 
that's like a contradiction a little bit. Like that little bit, I, I want to get to like give us a little speculation on that. Or a little more detailed than just six weeks. Like how long will it take? Like for me, it won't be an issue. But for some of y'all like are casuals, have to do other things. I don't know if you'll be able to get this card. Or is it going to be similar to Madden levels? Because Madden levels ain't that hard really to get to level 50. It's a grind, but it ain't, it ain't that bad. But 2K, the way they're describing it. They're describing it like it's going to be hard as heck. And like, level 38, you only got 25 tokens? Like, I don't know I'm talking about that. That's, that. That is not a good award for level 38. I feel like level 38, like, think about anything lower. You're getting lesser tokens. You should get way more than that. Plus, you're getting tokens each time. But that's like, that may be a little too low. But yeah, that's the thing I did notice in the... In this, they like contradict. They said it will say in your favorite mode, it become without becoming too little too long. But then it says right here, it's gonna take a lot of playing there. But we always gonna take a lot of playing there. So I don't know what that means because if you grinded J Rich, you know what I'm talking about. I'm I was like the first in the world to get that Opal J Rich. If you like check out Carl's video, why I let him use my account that day for it. Literally, that card was such a crazy of a grind, and it was ridiculous. So. I don't know if I trust 2K with this. I hope it's not a dumb, stupid grind, but they really, they didn't really give like a really good answer to this. Like, it's a really low. I wish they would have gave us like a more desc better description. I mean, six weeks a good amount of time, but it that thing long as heck. I don't know. Hopefully, it's like I'm, I'm a guess. Oh, and they also said that tokens will come out each reward season. I didn't highlight that. But that's also a big key, cause so we don't keep forgetting. We keep asking token awards, so that's like a big thing I cared about too. And that's a good, that's a big thing to know. So we don't gotta worry no more about. Oh yeah, when that token awards coming? No, it comes out every single six weeks basically. And I think token market other players. I want the Black Matter token reward. Okay, let's go to let's go to the next next one up. We got triple threat. Oh, let me see the triple offline at triple threat offline right here. Okay. Oh, this is my team up way. This is 350 games. Okay, right. It says in subsequence. Well, like it said, okay. You will like look at this one. I have an issue with. Like they said for triple offline, you get 300 wins. You get a diamond card, right? Last year you can get Jamal Crawford for 300 wins. And you can even up to a pink diamond. So. I don't know if that means they're nerfing the cards. I need, I'm like, ah, to make two. I need to know developers. I don't know, and I don't like the fact that you don't, you can't get a Galaxy Opal on day one of grinding it. Like I understand they say, oh yeah, like a card can get outclassed pretty quickly as my team of thousand available to you, easy to launch. For example, those 150 wins while prizing with 450 wins second season. Prize. My issue with that is literally. Why can't 2K? Wait, wait a minute. No, that's no, that's 2K20. Why can't 2K just update the cards as the game come out? Like they can have an opal and like update them each month so he fits the meta. Like it's not that. I, I feel like that's a little bit of an excuse. They can easily update the cards so quick and swift, swift a night. Like I don't like that excuse. I feel like they. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like only 400 games. So that's a little low number. And that's for six weeks. I'm not. I like I like a lot of things in the blog, but that's not one of the things I am. I'm not liking this idea. And for a diamond card that might be average, probably like, uh, that. The tell me if you like that idea or not. I don't know with that one. And a, and let me see. My fifth takeaway from this is my team limited, saying five v five. See, my biggest thing with this, it sounds lit like they're gonna restrict the amethyst and rubies and all those type of things. But remember, back in 2K18, right? 2K18, they had a salary cap mode. They had a restriction to a certain point. Then eventually, they never ever like. They literally never finished. They like made it to a point where you can run any lap anyway, so it wasn't even like a big deal. So I hope it doesn't become money hungry, and they stick to this because the, the ruby it lower. The control we have built in will allow us to create some fun combinations. Like it sounds fire when they say it that way, but I, it can easily become money hungry. So. I hope it actually is a way they're saying it. It's not money hungry. It's actually a 5-5. I want to just be competitive. That's it. Nothing else. And next uh, was Ralph Sampson. The reward. Didn't really see much there with it. Wasn't really that much important. And once you get to the fair game, you automatically level up to next league. Okay, this one, my team. I want to get to the exchange. 
Next up, we got the exchange. In exchange, they said you can like give some of the cards you get from it will be truly elite. Then he said you had trans some amethyst, but like and he said, but we secretly really have secret plan future plans for that card where they'll be invaluable. I, I don't know what that means really. Like is the reward for the like weekend thing like gonna let like, you use those cards? Or are you gonna be forced to have to use those cards? If it's that's the case, then I can see it becoming money hungry. I hope that I hope that is maybe just you can use them, but you don't have to use them. You know what I mean? So like you can actually that's kind of unfair to people that can't use them and don't want to be don't want to lock in like those cards. Ah, I'm like ah, that's a good idea, but if you can use them in my team limited, that's low key kind of finessing. But then again, these cards look. They say truly a late two K. I will walk in your front door in your headquarters. I know dang well you don't think Bob Cousy's elite, okay? I know all you devs sitting there do not think he's elite. Don't, 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 don't do this, too, guy. No, 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 don't, don't, oh. Nah, 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 stop, 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 stop. I, I, I know you don't think that's elite. I know you don't. That and then they make a Bob Cousy. Like, I really think they changed the scam. I would stay away from this, but if they make it where like, you can use them, in the limited mode over other people then you will have an advantage but it seems like these cards are gonna be old players that suck really based off of that let me make sure i didn't miss anything i'm pretty sure that i'm pretty sure that is it almost right my team limited i forget anything let me see that i forget anything first i don't i don't think i forgot anything i think it i think we covered like everything that was the main thing they also if i, I think that was it and also they did oh wait 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 there's one more Okay, about this one. When the evolution is going to be a rebounding. Okay, so the evolution card will be a rebounding Shaquille O'Neal. And look here. You notice it says. I can't even see it barely. It says 100. You need all modes difficulty. So see my dynamic dude. Right? It will be on all modes. So not every Evo card you will be able to give. You will be able to use in domination, triple threat. Apparently, some will be in different modes. I don't know how I feel about that. If, if it's with a few cards, it's good, but if it's with a low lot of cards, I hope that's not the case. And it says difficulty. Wow, it seems like they- wait a minute, what if they make an Evo card and you only can do it on Super- Oh, okay, they can get real aids with this, okay. Notice an early with this? Oh, I'm a little nervous with that. I'm a little nervous, I've seen that. But it does look like a W, they change it to a lighting ball. Yeah, that's like- Ugh, this is- this, I don't know if I like- I don't think they're gonna make it a big deal. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully, they do not make it a big deal. Okay, next up, we got Extension. It wasn't that big, it was like Bob Leitner, nothing really major. And then they mentioned that a limit. Okay, next up was Unlimited. They mentioned once you get to that third win, you all man get to the next lead. You do not have to play the remaining games to keep things interesting to your toes. If you don't have any requirements to advance on the low, you would still. See, this one here. I like it a lot because Unlimited was like dead last year. Like there was just once like people would just pay for 12 and 0, 12 and 0 would be the dying deal. No, like then it's nothing to do after that. It was really frustrating as a my team player. Like I think we all can agree that thing needed an update. But yeah, this can probably hurt some people that want that went 12 and 0 for people, but still it needed a big update. Hopefully the rewards are good for the lower levels. And is because they still need to go 12 and on the last one. So it's still it's just more of a grind. Hopefully, give us some Hall of Fame badges, maybe on the wear some diamond shoes, gold stuff like that. But I like it. I, I like the idea, and that's a major change that I'm actually very happy about as well. And that is about it. My few other takeaways would probably be they didn't mention nothing about the auction house, so that probably means the auction house is gonna stay the same. And they didn't mention nothing new about a draft mode. So it seemed like no draft mode. And four hours and auction hours, auction not being over 100 gigabytes. I don't mind, but they need to make that thing an hour. So those two things that I noticed that aren't even in the blog or mentioned. And token cards. There's, we, all, we still don't know about that. There's no new token. They didn't mention nothing about tokens, so. I guess they're keeping that secretive. And yeah. I guess that is it. Have a good, have a good rest of your day and kick it! See ya.